So one thing I wanted to talk about, and a question that I get a lot is, will this work on my farm? Will it work with my soil type, my topography, and my crop type? So let's what just talk about, again, let's take them one at a time. What is the soil type? So we have a silt loam. Some of it is a red clay. Uh, so they classify it some as a, a Decatur silt loam. loam. Uh, and a lot of times that don't mean a lot to a lot of us that look at it and our hands look like this. I got red dirt down here. Okay, so we got some gray dirt, we got some red dirt. What boils down to is a lot of our areas we have to have these lift stations because a lot of them are lower and they're bowls that we can, we could drain them but we can't get the water out. So we had to do these, we have five of these lift stations and the areas that we work it in, we have to get the water up and over maybe a levee into a ditch, anything like that. So that was our kind of why our soil type is what it is. So question number two. Yes, uh, topography. What do your fields look like? It's not, some people think it's flat here in the south yep. and it is. Some of it is, but you gotta go further south in here. Yes. So we're in North Alabama. We're about an hour and 45 minutes from Nashville. So that's where we're located at. We have rolling terrain. We have some terraces and what we, uh, get into here is in Plano's rolling terrain, the water, like you see in the north that we've learned from the, our fellow farmers that's been tiling all their life, is that you know you think it's here in the bottom and it really comes out the side of the hill. So we have learned that here and like I said, we, we're definitely still young in the game on tiling. You know, we, we picked it up from a lot of these people at ADS, they've definitely taught me the better way to do things, you know. <laughs> So that's, that's kind of what our terrain is. Yes. And let's talk about your crop type. What are you rotating? Yep. What are you growing here? So a lot of times what we have is we try to get three crops in two years. So we grow corn and then we grow wheat and then double crop beans behind it. We won't get our wheat acres up and beyond what our harvesting power is. So we'll, we'll run in that anywhere from 2,000 to 2,500 range on wheat. But before we've been historically having to keep our wheat on our higher acres. Well, that's not the case now. Since we put this lift station in and this tile system, We've been able to work this farm here. As you'll see behind me, all this is in wheat. Before we could work only the hill in wheat. And so it's allowed us to do this. This is the first time this has ever been farmed in wheat. And I'm not gonna say it's gonna make a hundred bushel wheat by no means, but I promise you it will make wheat where we didn't used to make wheat.